G'day team, it's your old mate the Kiwi Badger and I thought I'd make a wee video for you um, not necessarily for you my subscribers but for you those who have ST1100s um, now I have this uh, 1995 um, Pan European it was uh, sold in England and it came to New Zealand uh, with its owner, its previous owner um, and I was riding it um, a couple of months ago and uh, under heavy acceleration the dash lights would all flash on uh, the bike would cough and splutter as though the carbs were blocked or it was starved for fuel um, yeah that was the kind of sensation I got that happened two or three times and then there was a complete roadside meltdown literally um, I checked all the fuses these fuses were fine um, the 30 amp fuse which sits just behind here I don't know if you can see the green fuse there right there um, that had popped uh, and I had noticed that the four wires that came from the factory loom into the starter relay here um, were melted now the crimp um, that Honda uses there's a fairly standard crimp on a what I would call a spade bit, which is a spade bit, which are these flat bits here. But the surface area of that contact is minimal, and there's a lot of power flowing through there um, to the point where uh, it actually melted this here. I don't know if you can, hopefully, you can see that. So, it, this wire here, um, it's a four wire plug relay. This wire here uh, melted this hole uh, and it obviously melted the um, coating or the insulation off all of the uh, the wires uh, which caused the bike to stop. Since then I have put a heavier gauge wire, uh, new plugs, uh, still onto the same old relay, it still works. I do have a new one in the mail uh, but apparently there is a way of making this more reliable. Uh, and less prone to meltdowns. Now you'll notice that I have but three wires on here currently. Um, the wire that would normally go to here I've replaced with this. Okay, so the solid red wire, you have a, a, a solid red wire, then there is a red wire with a white stripe uh, and a couple of other wires. Okay, uh, those are still in this part of the loom here. Okay, uh, but the solid red wire is this one here. I have put its own fuse, it's still a 30 amp fuse and I've connected it directly to the battery. Now since I've done this, um, the bike does not fault under heavy acceleration anymore. Um, it's just removed that amount of load uh, from going through these through the relay. Um, there's no detrimental effect to doing this. I have searched on the ST owners uh, forum uh, and on the ST Rider forum and they both recommend what they call the red wire bypass which is this here okay so it's as simple as removing the red wire solid red wire so red no other colors on this wire solid red wire remove it from the loom that plugs into here connect uh, another 30 amp fuse and connect it directly to the positive on the battery um, the red wire bypass I saw was connecting it to what looked like a little terminal block through here obviously this bike does not have a terminal block it has another relay um, so I've gone straight for the positive on the battery uh, and that seems to have fixed the issue with the wires overheating uh, and I hope I do not have that issue again um, it's pretty straightforward um, I hope this helps someone out there um, yeah safe riding people